Hi everyone, it's been a while since I last uploaded a video and a really long while since I worked on Bloxy Engine. Almost 6 months since the last devlog and you may be wondering why the long wait. Well, there are multiple reasons, some personal and some technical. But today we are going on a journey to improve performance from this to this. I want to start by expanding upon the technical reasons as they lay the foundation of how the results were achieved. From the very beginning, I had decided that I was going to use the job system to achieve the best possible performance. But I had no idea what I was signing up to since I had written a good portion of the engine without job system in mind. For those of you wondering, why didn't I just start with the job system? Well, back then the job system was in its nascent stages and I wanted to wait before the API was somewhat stabilized. Basically I wanted to avoid the preview hell that Unity has made out of the package system. It's a good thing that I waited as Unity released a new mesh API specifically for creating procedural meshes using the job system. This new API provides much more capabilities as you can directly define your vertex layouts and your index layouts giving you much more control over what data is actually passed to the GPU. And all in all it makes the use of job system and is more efficient than the previous mesh API. Now the job system has some constraints which allows only a subset of c -sharp. These constraints not only allow the burst compiler to produce more optimized code but also direct you to write more memory efficient code. Using just structs, unmanaged code and native containers meant that I had to redo almost all of my engine. No more classes or object oriented programming, lists or even vector 3. Well, for the most part. So with all this, I geared up for my first attempt. And then I couldn't find the collections package. You see with all the changes to the package manager, experiment packages are just not listed and as far as I know the released version of the collections package is just not verified for Unity 2021.1. So anyway, I just had to hard code the package in the manifest file which is still a bit annoying as I forgot to do this again when I re attempted adding jobs. And again, I spent an hour on this issue. Inconvenience aside, my first implementation was a mess. It was not due to the job system as it only took me 30 minutes to jobify the greedy machine code. But the issue came with handling native data, basically how you feed the data to the jobs. You see, you can't have nested containers and the way my engine was structured there was a whole lot of nesting going around. Take the chunk store as an example, which stores a dictionary of chunks and each chunk has an array of data. So we have one level of nesting right here. And it gets more convoluted when you look at how data is passed to the parallel for job, which has a top level array for the job with each element having an array of member of 27 members representing the current chunk and the neighboring chunks and each of them those chunks will have a data array. So all this nesting is a big no-no for the burst compiler. To get around this I considered every kind of hack possible. At one time I was allocating memory using malloc and using pointers and wondering why aren't I working with C++ instead. So long story short I made some bad spaghetti got disinterested and pretty much shelved the project. I knew to get it working I had to pretty much redesign the whole engine at its very core and just couldn't master the energy to do so for a while. After three months while taking a shower I finally became determined to try again. I created a blank project just to prototype the job model without the complexity of the rest of the engine. I had some ideas how I would be storing my data so I basically created the kind of structure I required. Once I got the jobs working I started on the engine. So I completely rewrote the chunk store and re-implemented the chunk data using unsafe list. 
since unsafe lists can be nested. I got rid of all the generics to simplify the implementation, but the major change was how data was fed into jobs. I simplified it by directly passing the whole chunk store in read-only mode so chunks can be accessed as required. Plus, I got rid of the cost to create specific job data which reduced nesting by one. With these changes, jobs and burst worked beautifully and the result was a 10 times improvement in chunk mesh generation. This performance gain is not solely from jobs and burst. While they make the bulk of it, I did follow some other patterns. I reduced the usage of virtual methods, got rid of link and make sure as few as required GC allocs were happening. On these topics, I found this article and this video by Cherno really helpful on how to go about thinking in terms of performance for games. Now, reduced use of virtual methods and inheritance had a design level change on the engine. I was using inheritance to provide complete control over the engine, but that got me thinking, is that much control even required at this stage or am I just over engineering? Over engineering is something I struggle with as a programmer as it's pretty easy for me to go down the rabbit hole and create unnecessary hierarchies in object oriented programming or doing performance optimizations without checking if a problem actually exists. Not only is this habit time consuming, it does not yield any significant results. This is something I hope to mature as a programmer. Now back to the engine. Since use of virtual methods and inheritance is minimized, does that mean there is no API to modify the functionality of the engine? Well, at the moment that is the case. But I hope to add this extensibility where it makes sense using burst functions. Not sure exactly how it will be implemented, but it is something to look out for. So that concludes my jobs and burst saga and where I have spent my past four months. Well, I did some other changes also like URP migration and post-processing stuff. And there is still room for performance improvements like using frustum culling to decide which chunks to build. But for now, I want to focus on features as I am done with performance for a while. Since performance improvements is a never ending process, so I want to take more of a retroactive approach and do performance improvement as and when required. So that's it for today. Next devlog is gonna be a bit different as it won't be regarding technical stuff. I'll be reviewing my 10 months of development, talk about the current state of the engine and its future. So it's gonna be special and be on the lookout for it. Now is the time I make promises again to be consistent and ask you to subscribe. And like, yeah, seeing my past record, I won't ask you to subscribe unless I get a more consistent schedule going on. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.